In this video, we are going to create sliding ladder animation with Java. Let me show you the demo. Here we have GUI frame which has start button. If I click on that, uh, ladder will start sliding, which is initially leaning at the wall and it is sliding and when it becomes horizontal or parallel to ground surface, it will stop sliding. So this is what we want to implement. So let's understand problem. So problem is sliding ladder from a wall. So create sliding ladder animation by applying concepts of multi-threading and graphics programming in Java. Now before we look at the code that we need to write, we need to understand the design of the solution. So here the white lines represent wall and ground surface and the blue line represents ladder that we want to animate which is animation is sliding this later. We have taken this center point, which is X origin and Y origin. So whatever drawing operations we are going to perform will be with reference to this X origin and Y origin. So if we change this X origin, Y origin, the whole setup, we can shift to other location. We have ladder height, we have ladder width, and we have ladder length so in this whole setup when the ladder is sliding the ladder length is not going to change so you can see here when i am decreasing the ladder height it is going to increase the ladder width but ladder length is not changing you can see it one more time okay let's let's try to understand how we are going to solve this problem so we need to apply here Pythagoras equation, which is a square plus b square is equal to c square. Here a is our ladder height, b is our ladder width, and c is our ladder length. So the equation will become as ladder height square plus ladder width square is equal to ladder length square. When ladder is sliding, the ladder height is decrementing so we are updating ladder height so that should update ladder width so ladder width square will become as ladder length square minus ladder height square now before we write code we need to understand that in java or screen coordinate system the y-axis is flipped so in Cartesian coordinate system, X axis is towards right and Y axis is towards upward. Whereas in Java or screen coordinate system, X is same, but Y is flipped. So what does it mean? So whenever we increment value of Y in Java or screen coordinate system, it is going to decrease the height. So that we are going to use while we are writing our code where we are updating the height of ladder. Let's see the code. So you can see we have imported uh, classes that we are using. So we have our sliding ladder frame which extends from frame and it implements two interfaces. One is runnable that we are implementing because we want to write threading logic. And the second is action listener because we have a button on click of which we want to take some action. Now this X origin, Y origin are the data members that we have seen earlier. And to represent that ladder, we have ladders start point and end point. And each point has two members X and Y. So we have ladder start X, ladder start Y, which represent the starting point of ladder and ladder end X and ladder end Y, which represents the end point of later. The other data members are we have thread reference and the button which we are going to initialize in a constructor. Now let's see the main method. So in the main method we create object of our class which is sliding ladder frame and we are passing here x origin and y origin which will be assigned to this data member x origin and y origin. So you can see here the x origin we have taken is 50 so this uh, green box represents our frame area so from the left edge we want 50 pixels towards right as x origin and from the top we want 
350 pixels uh, as the y origin so that you can understand from this setup the size of frame is 600 pixels as width and 400 pixels as height we make this frame as visible by making set visible true and we are setting title sliding ladder so that is our main method now let's see the constructor so constructor is taking x origin and y origin that we are passing from main method so that if i want to change x origin and y origin i need to pass those values to constructor and whole setup will work with reference to this x origin and y origin the constructor is pretty straightforward we initialize x origin y origin and then we set background color as black we have one button which is a start button and then we implement action listener for that button the implementation is available in the same class because we have implemented that action listener in the same class so we pass there this we set flow layout and then we add button so that button will be visible in our frame now let's see action performed so whenever button is clicked we want to initialize the ladder that is we want to initialize ladders start x start y and ladders end x end y so ladder start x is same as x origin that is this point and the ladder start y is minus 300 pixels from this point so this point is our y origin so we say y origin minus 300 pixels so we go 300 pixels to the top so that is y origin minus 300 now let's see later and x and and y so this point is later and x and and y so later and x is this x origin x origin value which is this much distance plus 400 and leader and y is same as y origin because when we consider this horizontal line the y value is not changing so that is the leader and y and every time we click this button our new thread will start so we create object of new thread by passing the implementation of the run method which is the same class we pass here this and this is some uh, label or we can say title we are giving to thread then we call thread dot start so once we do this thread dot start it is going to call run method so later on we'll see run method now let's see the paint method so basically what we are going to do whenever we perform button click we are going to call the run method and from inside run method periodically we are going to call repaint method and repaint method is going to call paint method so every time there is an update in any data members we are going to call paint method and inside paint method we are going to draw ground line wall line and ladder so let's understand the logic for that we set white color for drawing ground and wall so we say g dot set color color dot white now first we are drawing the ground line so if line is horizontal the x value will change y value will not change so we draw that horizontal line by doing x origin which is this point minus 25 because we want to draw line from this point so that is x origin minus 25 and the y value is same which is y origin now the end point of this line horizontal line is x origin plus 525 where 500 is the distance which will be taken by ladder when it is completely lying on the ground and we are keeping this 25 pixels margin so that is x origin plus 525 and because line is horizontal y value will be same which is y origin now let's see about drawing wall so wall is vertical so when it is vertical x value will not change so you'll see this draw line is taking x1 y1 x2 y2 so x is not changing value of x origin as x1 and x2 now let's see about the start point the start y for the line which is this point which is y origin plus 25 so you can see here this is y origin point 
we go 25 pixels down and because y axis is flipped we'll say plus 25 then this point is y origin minus 325 which is 300 is the height of the ladder and we want to keep 25 pixels margin so that's why it is y origin minus 325 so these two statements will print the ground line and wall line now let's see how to draw ladder so we want to draw ladder with a blue color so we say g dot set color color dot blue then we say g dot draw line we are calling draw line method where it's taking x1 y1 x2 y2 which is pretty straightforward we simply pass ladders start x start y and ladders end x end y and that is going to draw this line now that part will get updated from the run method so let's see that run method so in run method we take one variable called completed so initially completed is false so that is showing the status of the animation whether animation is going on or it has stopped so initially completed is false and whenever the animation has to be stopped that is the ladder is becoming horizontal or it is lying on the ground will make completed is equal to true so inside run method we take this variables ladder height and ladder width and ladder length we have initialized ladder as 500 because when the a is 300 b is 400 the length is will become as 500 that is the three numbers of pythagoras 3 4 5 okay now let's see the while loop so while uh, the animation has not completed we'll continue and in each iteration we check whether animation should be stopped or not so whenever the ladder is becoming horizontal the ladders start y will become same as y origin so that we check if ladder start y is going beyond y origin will stop the animation by assigning true value to completed and will return from this loop and we are also updating screen one more time that is using this dot repaint if the animation has to continue we call repaint method so that is going to call the paint method so whatever data were updated in the previous iteration of the loop so those will be rendered using paint method and this is the animation rate which is we are putting thread into slip state for 100 millisecond and because that can throw interrupted exception we are handling using this catch block now let's see that whenever there is a change in ladder's height how we are going to do the calculation so you can see here the dotted line that represents the ladder's situation in the previous iteration and in the current iteration the ladder should be shown in this new position which is 5 pixels down from the previous position so we are actually updating the ladder's height so whenever we are updating ladder's height the x value is not changing so what we need to do in each iteration we need to find out what is this or uh, ladder start point and what will be the ladder's end point now here when it is this vertical axis the x value is not changing and we consider this horizontal axis the y value is not changing so let's see ladder start x ladder start so let's see ladder start y is equal to ladder start y plus 5 so basically by adding plus 5 i am decrementing the height because y axis is flipped so we go 5 pixels down from the previous point so we say ladder start y is equal to ladder start y plus 5 now for the end point ladders end y does not change so we need to update only end x now that end x we need to find out based on the calculations of pythagoras equation and we first find out the ladders width and that we are going to add into the x origin value and we'll get the ladders end x value so here we say ladders length square minus ladder height square and we make square root of that using this 
math dot square root and that will give us result in double we type cast into integer so we'll get leaders width so this we do using this pythagoras equation now once we have that leader width i can easily find out the leader's index value which is leader index is equal to this x origin value plus we go in this side by leader width pixels so that will give us leader index and this whole calculation we do as part of this while loop whenever the next iteration of this while loop will be called we are going to decrease the leader's height by 5 pixels and accordingly we are going to find out leader width and the leader's index value and we are updating those values from here and in each iteration we are calling this repaint method which is going to call this paint method so using this paint method the animation of sliding ladder happens so here we have easily applied concept of mathematics to solve this problem so in the same way you can apply mathematics for any similar problem let's see animation one more time so you can see here uh, this was the uh, the end situation when we ran our animation one time so with this blue color is showing this uh, ladder is lying on the ground now if i click on the start it should happen again so that's why we are initializing those data members in the action performed method thanks for watching and happy learning